Hello everyone, welcome to Infosec Train. My name is Amit Pandey and I'm a security and a cloud trainer at Infosec Train. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the defensive security interview question. The first is, what is potential unwanted program, which is also called as PUP. PUP or potential unwanted program refers to the category of software that often raises eyebrow due to their dubious nature and questionable intention. While not outright malicious like virus or malware, PUP can still possess a significant risk to the user privacy, security and overall online experience. Understanding what PUP are, how they operate and how to protect against them is crucial in today's digital age. PUP are a diverse group of software applications that at first glance might seem harmless or even useful. They can include browser toolbars, adware, spyware, file sharing program and other software that often comes bundled with the legitimate downloads. The dispective aspect of PUP lies in their tendency to piggyback into the legitimate installation, making user inadvertently accepting their presence. This bundling technique is a common strategy empowered by PUP developers to increase the distribution of their software, capitalizing on users to install designed programs without thoroughly examining their installation process. The primary concern with the PUP is that is their potential to infringe upon user privacy. Many PUP engage in aggressive data collection, tracking user online activity, gathering personal information and sharing it with a third party without explicit consent. This invasion of privacy not only raises ethical concern but also exposes user to the risk of identity theft, targeted advertising and other malicious activity that can steam from the misuse of the personal data. Another issue related to the PUP is the impact they have on system performance. PUP often consume valuable system resources, slowing down computer and causing instability. Some PUP may bombard user with the intrusive advertisement, pop-ups and redirects, disrupting the browsing experience and making it difficult to distinguish between a legitimate and a malicious content. Additionally, PUP can sometimes modify browser settings such as default search engine and homepage without user knowledge or consent, leading to frustration and confusion. To protect against PUP, user needs to adopt a proactive approach. It starts with the being cautious during installation of new software. Always opt for custom or advanced installation setting which allows you to review and deselect any bundled software. Reading user review and researching the reputation of the software before downloading can also help identify potential unwanted programs. Utilizing reputable antivirus and anti-malware solution is crucial as they often include PUP detection and removal feature. Additionally, regular software update both for the operating system and installed application play a vital role in reducing vulnerabilities to PUP. Outdated software is often more susceptible to exploiting by PUP and other malicious actors. Practicing good browsing habits such as avoiding suspicious websites and refraining from clicking on sophisticated links or download can further minimize the risk of encountering PUP. In conclusion, potential unwanted program PUP present a digital nuisance that user must be aware of and vigilant against. These seamless incoquous software application can compromise privacy, slow down the system and disrupt the online experience. Educating oneself about the nature of the PUP, employing preventive measure during software installation and using reputable security solution are essential steps in maintaining a secure and enjoyable digital environment. 
by staying informed and proactive user can better protect themselves against unwanted intrusion of pup in the ever expanding digital realm the second question is what is rainbow table attack in the realm of cyber security one of the most fundamental aspect is the protection of sensitive data often accomplished through the use of cryptographic technique hash function a critical component of cryptography converts data into a fixed length string or character providing a way to securely store and verify password digital signature and more however even the strongest cryptographic method are not immune to attack and one such potential attack vector is a rainbow table attack a rainbow table attack is the method employed by malicious actor to efficiently crack password hashes particularly when the original password are weak or vulnerable the concept of the rainbow table attack can be likened to massive pre-computed dictionary of password hash and their corresponding plain text password these tables serve as a shortcut for attacker enabling them to quickly determine the original password from its hash without having to undergo the time consuming process of brute forcing each possible password the heart of rainbow table attack lie in the rainbow table itself the table is constructed in advanced by performing a series of hash computation on a vast range of possible password each password is first hashed using a specific cryptographic hash function such as md5 sha1 sha256 producing a unique hash value these hash value are then stored in a rainbow table alongside with the corresponding plain text password since the process is pre computed it allows attacker to rapidly compare the hash of a target password with the entries in the table quickly revealing the original password if a match is found to defend against rainbow table attack modern cryptographic techniques employ several countermeasures one common strategy is the use of salting a salt is a random value that is combined with a password before hashing the salt value is unique for each user meaning that even if two user have the same password the hash value will differ due to the distinct salt used this makes the rainbow table much less effective since they would not need to be pre computed for each unique salt rendering them impractical for widespread use another defend in use of strong and a more secure hash function cryptographic hash function with high collision resistance and better distribution properties can significantly increase the time and efforts required for rainbow table attack additionally using hash function specifically designed for password storage such as bycrypt or agnon2 can provides an additional layer of security regularly updating password and enforcing strong password policy are essential practice to mitigate the risk of rainbow table attack user should be encouraged to create long and a complex password that are resistant to dictionary attack and other common cracking method multi factor authentication which is also called as mfa should also be implemented whenever possible as it add an extra layer of security making it more challenging for attacker to gain unauthorized access so guys this is for today thank you